Hey film freaks, I'm your host Patrick and today we're covering a 2020 comedy horror movie called Spree. The first scene pops up with a young man introducing himself as Kurt who has an online social media channel called Kurt's World. He starts depicting his life as he moved with his parents from Los Angeles to Azusa. All the time he's active on social media, he's live 24-7 and recording every aspect. His stories include his dogs or his dad in the studio. He explains that his parents had a divorce and he lived with his mom for a while. Later, he finds his interest in video gaming and he records that activity as well. He goes into various other things, trying to make his name in the social media industry. He attempts to make soundtracks, starts the product reviews and gets into babysitting as kids are a great source of enjoyable content. His first kid is a teenager named Bobby. Bobby is an online streamer. He plays video games and shows it live on social media. Bobby also has a significant number of following and due to that reason, Kurt tries to become a part of it by including Bobby in his own live video. But instead of acknowledging and helping, Bobby just waves him off angrily and shouts at him for double dipping his stream. Meanwhile, Kurt keeps on experimenting new things and he goes on to become a spree driver, a cab driver who picks up passengers and drops them off at their destination. Meanwhile, it's been 10 years since Kurt Kungle is trying to make a name on social media but all his efforts are in vain as he's gained minimum to zero followers or fans. After all of his unsuccessful engagements to attain fame, Kurt goes into solitude as he sees that there's nothing working out for him. After some time, he posts a video stating that something has sparked his mind that will grab the audience and will be able to make him viral. He calls his strategy the lesson, which he'll perform from the front seat of his spree. In April 2019, Kurt finally went viral. He starts his video by turning to his audience and introduces himself as Kurt. In the following clip, he's sitting at the back seat of his car and explaining that he has prepared the water bottles for his passengers and later states that you have to get your camera set up as you have to document everything. He then settles in and drives to meet his mom. He's still on camera when his mom calls him and he runs after her. Later, he comes out with the bracelet and hangs it around the rear view mirror. Afterwards, he starts his drive. As his first passenger for a spree, he picks up a guy named Frederick. Frederick tells him that he has to go to Highland Park. Later, he notices all the six cameras around and asks him what this is all about. Kurt simply says that all of this is for his protection. While they talk along, Frederick remarks that he is going to make a speech in front of 3,000 people. Kurt admires him for having a huge following. Later, it's revealed that Frederick is a white supremacist and racist. He also compels Kurt to believe that the white dresses are superior to every race. In response, Kurt simply refuses to take his ideas and remarks that he needs to stop it. He then explains that Bobby Bud Lee is on his live and the scene shifts off to Bobby and his multiple videos. Him on a hoverboard, stealing people's phones for fun, him at a hotel and whatnot. And as Bobby himself is a very great influencer, the racist comments will shove him away and in turn cause Kurt's ratings to drop. Meanwhile, as they go on, Kurt starts driving rashly just to spice things up for his fans. As they speed along, Frederick is scared and goes breathless. Kurt advises him to take a sip of the water bottle, to which Frederick agrees and drinks it. He claims that the water seems different, but Kurt replies in indifference. With a blast in the past, it's revealed that Kurt has injected all the water bottles with poison. Meanwhile, back at Spree, Frederick starts coughing and tries to open the door, but all in vain. He kicks around as his breath gets caught and he dies in the back seat of Kurt's car. In a psychotic manner, Kurt enjoys himself on Friedrich's death and shows a victory sign. Later, he claims that one is down, many more to go. For his next trip, he picks up a woman named Andrea. She puts her stuff in the trunk and as she sits inside, she's in a heated argument with her husband. During her call, she grabs a water bottle and takes a gulp. Just as it's expected, after some time, she's unconscious in the back seat of the car. Kurt sits beside her and unlocks her phone. While he's doing his psychotic adventure, he gets a call from his father, which he rejects. He then gives himself a 5-star rating from Andrea's phone and all by himself replies abusively to her husband, who's texting her. The next scene shows Kurt in his car playing a hideous soundtrack. A guy sits in the back seat, minding his own business, 
Kurt tries to gain his attention by telling him that the music on the radio is his own mix. Kurt enjoys himself on his stupid and senseless audio track while they're stuck in traffic. The passenger starts getting impatient and says he has to be somewhere. As they move along, another passenger's request pops up on the spree app, asking to join the ride. Kurt adopts another route that leads to the next passenger's destination. The guy, Mario, gets frustrated but Kurt simply replies that he ordered spree social and that's what he's going to put up with. As they move through the parking lot, they see the girl named Jesse who's waiting for them. Kurt pulls up beside her but one look at them and Jesse moves away. Mario urges Kurt to pick her up and he goes after her again. Jesse replies that she has cancelled the ride but he takes it on himself. As Jesse settles in, Kurt blasts music and Mario tells him to shut it off. As the music turns down, Mario recognizes Jesse as a comedian with a mega following. Kurt gets interested and converses with her about her success. In the meantime, Mario starts filming and tells everybody on the camera that he's with Jesse Adams, which pisses her off. She gets into an argument with Mario. She then goes live on Instagram and shows everyone the stupid face of Mario and how he's been troubling her. While they're arguing, Mario remarks that being insta-famous has got into her head. Kurt instantly stops the car and asks Mario to get out. Instead of him, Jessie leaves the car, and on her way out, she grabs one bottle, throws the water on Mario's face, and leaves. After this embarrassing incident, both of them start their journey again. Kurt takes him along a deserted road, stating that it's a shortcut. Mario starts throwing up, and Kurt gets angry and asks him to go out to clear himself. As the car stops, Mario goes out to take a piss, and Kurt then reverses the car and smashes into him. The body flies over and drops on the roof. He again reverses the car and as Mario falls on the ground, Kurt drives forward and enjoys himself as he runs the car over Mario's body. That night, Kurt turns on the LEDs in his interior and then watches various videos of Jesse Adams as she stands on the stage as a stand-up comedian and performs her act. Later, Kurt is filling up the car and Bobby makes fit of him on his live stream as he's the only one watching. Kurt tries to make his point that his shitty content is somehow good, while Bobby keeps on roasting him. Meanwhile, a cop at the gas station eyes Kurt suspiciously as he explains himself on the live stream. Bobby then suggests a YouTube video about helping the homeless. He then explains that it's all fake and staged. Bobby also comments that Kurt should do something exciting and post WTF moment content, otherwise it won't work. That night, Kurt picks up three people and rushes down a boulevard. The passengers are pissing their pants at Kurt's rash driving, but he assures them it's fine. One of the girls comes forward up beside Kurt and admires his sense of adventure. He then offers them to go to a secluded place for some adventure. They all agree and as they reach there, Kurt asks the ones in the back seat to get out of the sunroof and enjoy their moment. The couple goes live on Instagram and they start to enjoy themselves. Meanwhile, the girl named London sits beside Kurt as he explains how he grew up in this place. While they're talking, he speeds up and breaks a gate and they enter a junkyard. He asks London to get herself out of the window and enjoy the scene. But he stops at the place and they get attacked by wild pit bulls. London shrieks and rolls up the window after getting back inside. Meanwhile, Kurt closes the glass around the couple as two dogs climb up the roof and attack them. As they get raided by the beasts, Kurt pulls out a drill machine and murders London. The next scene shows Kurt going through a car wash and cleaning all the bloodshed. In the meantime, he calls Bobby and asks if he saw the most amazing killing spree of his time. Bobby just replies casually that it means nothing as nobody saw it. Kurt gets angry and as he leaves the car wash, he looks up at Jesse Adams' content. While scrolling, he sees her go live on Instagram. He joins the call to witness that there's nothing special about her content. She says she's going to joke bros, and later she's only filming the moments with her grandmother. But hundreds of people are admiring her. He gets jealous and complains about why she's getting so much attention without even doing much. Whereas he's here busting his ass trying to attain fame, he gets furious and says that it isn't fair at all. Meanwhile, Jessie is at her room trying to decide an address. And side by side, Kurt's also on live while he visits the house and knocks in the door. On her live stream, Jesse hears a knock and is suspicious who would come at this hour. At the same time, Kurt is waiting outside for the door to open up. Jesse goes down and opens to find a random dude at her doorstep and it's revealed that Kurt is actually at Bobby's house. 
He live streams him and tells him how he has figured out everything. He then asks Bobby to give him a good introduction, which Bobby does. He roasts the shit out of Kurt by telling everyone on the live stream that he was with his babysitter and now has some insane obsession with going famous and in the name of attention seeking, he's doing insanely illegal things. He goes on roasting, but Kurt pulls out a knife and stabs him. Bobby goes down as Kurt live streams everything. The comments nice videos start appearing with mixed views. Some are calling it fake, while some are enjoying the show as a prank. Meanwhile, Bobby struggles and gets out a gun from the cabinet. As he tries to shoot, Kurt grabs the gun from his hand and in their fight, shots are fired. Kurt then overpowers him and kills Bobby and shows his blood splattered face on the live stream. Back at Jessie's live show, she's in the car with that dude and they're on their way to Joke Bros. While she's live on Instagram, the guy named Miles makes weird attempts on her and tells her that he's being paid for being so talkative. Back at Bobby's place, Kurt is washing himself up in the shower and showing it on livestream. Upon looking at the stars and having more than 100 people in his life, he rejoices and triumphs. After getting out from the shower, he claims that he's taken over Bobby's setup and puts himself live from his channel. While around 4,000 people are watching him, he gets a text from his dad to come pick him up to go to the club and see Uno, a very famous influencer. As Kurt picks up his dad, he gets in an argument regarding his mother. They both quarrel about it and suddenly, Kurt's dad finds a gun in the glove box. He inquires why he has the gun with him, to which Kurt replies, it's for his own safety. He also explains that the spree job might make him come across thugs, and for that purpose, he keeps a gun. As they drive along, Kurt breaks multiple signals and crosses the red lights. They finally reach the club and Chris goes live. Kurt sees the club to realize it's a strip club, not a dance club. They both meet Uno and her friends. Kurt requests her to come in his live feed and mention him. As she does that, the comments start popping up about how hot Uno is. After a while, Kurt leaves and as he sits in his car, Uno arrives and asks him to take her to a taco truck. They go to the place and Uno gets her pictures taken by Kurt while he's in the waiting line. Uno gets the pistol from his dashboard and snaps herself while going live as well. In the meantime, Kurt grabs the food and back in the car. Uno takes a sip from the water bottle already in the car. She starts to cough and as Kurt returns, he finds her unconscious. Just as he's looking at her, two cops pull up and interrogate him. They ask him to come out and they perform the sobriety test on him. As one of the police officers come up to Uno, she suddenly wakes up and in her bewilderment, takes out the gun and shoots one officer in the head. Immediately afterwards, she flees from the scene. Meanwhile, Kurt gets back into his car but is chased by the cops. He drives on the wrong side of the highway and broadcasts everything live. He's excited as his followers and viewers increase and keeps on weaving through the traffic in a very dangerous manner. After a long chase, he gets off the highway and while he's boasting himself on the live feed, he drives into a construction area where his car topples and crashes upside down. The scene shifts at Joke Bros, where Miles is trying very hard to make the audience laugh, but it doesn't work at all. He then welcomes Jesse Adams on the stage and everyone is hyped up. She hypes them up even more in her signature style. Suddenly, Kurt comes back on his live feed and the 30,000 people watching express their excitement for him being alive after his incident. While everybody is live streaming her on social media, Jessie explains the incident she had with Kurt during her spree ride. Kurt gets frustrated with her roasting and making fun of him and is about to shoot her. When she rearranges her words, she explains how she was just like Kurt in the start and how we're desperate for attention. She then announces her retirement from social media by breaking her phone. Upon all that flow of events, Kurt decides not to shoot her and leaves the house. While backstage, Miles films Jessie and hypes up and she gets extremely agitated and leaves. Back on the road, Kurt orders a taxi. As he settles in, he converses with the old guy and after some time, he wickedly steals the car from him. Meanwhile, back at the club, Miles is making his attempts on Jessie and asks her if he can drop her home. Instead of going with him, she orders a taxi and leaves. As she sits inside, it's revealed that Kurt is who picked her up. He then converses with her and reminds her that they've met before. Jessie starts to get uncomfortable when Kurt drives the wrong way. She asks him to stop the car, but he keeps on driving and talking. 
She further freaks out as Kurt states he's taking her to his house. Suddenly, in her defense, she grabs a wire and tries to choke Kurt. He punches her in reaction and she goes unconscious. Kurt then picks her up and lays her in front of the car. The maniac then posts a poll on social media to ask the audience what they want him to do to Jesse, whether to fuck her, marry her, or kill her. The maximum poll goes for the kill. He then drives ahead to run her over, but Jesse disappears. Kurt leaves the car to look for her, but she comes back from the other side and sits inside. She presses the pedal to overrun Kurt, but he darts towards his house. Jesse chases him in the car, but crashes it in the living room. As the car gets to a halt in the broken wall, Kurt comes near her and assaults her, but she hits him back and he runs off to another room. Jesse, all disheveled and freaked out, gets out to look around when Kurt's dad comes in, all drunk and high on drugs. He exclaims what she has done. Jesse retreats and trips over a dead body of a woman. Chris cries upon the sight of the dead body. The woman is actually Kurt's mother. Meanwhile, Kurt comes out of a room and grabs a gun from the car. He shoots his dad time and again. It's then revealed that Kurt killed his own mother earlier. In the interim, Jesse scampers past him and starts the car. Kurt sees her and tries to shoot her, but the gun goes empty. Jesse reverses a car to escape, but it gets stuck. She then accelerates forward and hits Kurt. She keeps on dragging until he's crushed against the wall. Meanwhile, the viewers online get hyped up and request Jesse to go and see if he's alive. She slowly gets out, approaches him and hits him hard in the face. While 50,000 people watch, Jesse shows the butchered face of Kurt and smiles at the camera. She snaps the picture and posts it on her social media. And afterwards, a flurry of internet emotions and reactions start. Social media starts the top trends for Kurt Kunkel and the whole industry floods with his stories, actions, and ruthless adventures. Drop a comment below letting me know how you found the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys.